Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey. I'm here with the next part of my UU Suspect Test Run. Today we're going to be using a team from my boy Pimflois. Uh, we have Taunt Toxic Gliscor. As I like to call my boy Brit Score. I love this mon back in the day of DPP. Ah, obviously, you know, Toxic Score, Poison Heal, all that stuff is new. But such a clean mon. Uh, we have Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, Celebi. I love how my best move is U-Turn. Uh, SD, uh, Double Dance, Cobalion, we have Calm Mind, Megalodios, which is the mon being suspect tested, Defensive Rotom, and Scarf Needle King. I actually kept their nicknames just because all of those people are actually uh, subs to mine. So I was like, oh, these are my boys, might as well shout them out as well. Uh, but we got a lot of information on Ultra Sun and Moon, guys, and I'm so hyped for the games, man. I'm so hyped to start recording, showing on live, uh, Wi Fi battles. All that stuff. I'm, I'm really, really, really hype. I'm not going to lie. And we have a pretty fat team. Looks like it just loses to Gliscor. I just got to be careful about setting up. Hello. I just got to be careful about when I set up my... Um, my what's it called? My Toxic Orb. Correct, sir. Uh, anyway, we only have a Rotom. Matches up really well versus literally everything. And I can Volt Switch on the Gliscor and get my Toxic Orb. Like, that's going to be... I forgot your channel name. Uh, it's PokeMMD. MD. Like that. That's how it's spelled. Uh, anyway. Oh, hello? <laughs> You're a YouTuber. I forgot your name. But I'm a sub. Okay. All right, bro. Let's go, Aluigi. All right, so he leads Crooked up. Definitely not the best for me. Um, I mean, not the worst for me. But I don't want a Willow. Eh, I do. You should go Blissey. Yeah, I was just scared of Willowing if my opponent opted to go out into the um, Alamola, but Volt Switch here into Gliscor, and this is pretty much the opportunity I was looking for. Uh, a safe activation of my Toxic Orb, unless this thing actually has like Ice Beam or something. It's a safe activation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he actually activates my Toxic for me. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I'll actually just throw off a Toxic of my own. This is actually his Heal Beller, too. It's Blissey. So we do land the Toxic immediately on Alamola, which is really, really, really cool. And uh, I'm not really scared about what this thing can do, honestly. I'm just going to Earthquake. Like, it can't do crap to me. I'm going to do no types of damage. Your Scald is going to do nothing. Yep. I'm kind of hoping this thing is Rocky Helmet as well. Nice. So we'll talk right here on his potential wish or anything he wants to do. Uh, this also works if he goes Rotom, since Rotom can't actually... Do anything to me unless it's running HP Ice. And even then at full HP, Gliscor is not going down. Honestly, Gliscor S tier. It's just straight up S tier. He has a hard time dealing with this mod anyway. Yep, and I'm pretty sure his Blissey is Heal Bell. So I will throw off another Toxic right now. You should switch at this point. As he goes Sceptile, nice. We get a Toxic on Sceptile. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I do have Spadef Celebi with U-turn just to keep him momentum. Uh, in case he wants to go out to Blissey. Looks like Cobalion can win this game. I'm assuming Blissey might come out now. Oh, smart player. All right, so he goes Blissey now to Heal Bell. Very good play on my opponent's part. Very, very solid play. And this is why, like, though I do win this matchup, technically, it's just going to be annoying because of that in particular. Just that move in particular. Uh, but just you turn right here. Like he has anything that comes in on it at all. Yeah, it goes directly into Don Fan on me, surprisingly. Are you like a salt vest or something? Because I'm not 100% sure why you would bring out Don Fan right there on a, on a Celebi, of all things. And it's leftovers, too. So, yeah, really not sure why. We're just going to throw off a Hydro Pump. I'm not going to bother predicting the Blissey coming in at all. If I get rid of Don Fan, that means my rocks will be here to stay. And it looks like he expected me to actually Volt Switch there. So, he does give me Don Fan immediately. That means we are playing with hazards this game, my friends. And, um,. I don't have to care about crap. Uh, this is beaten by Spadef Celebi always, and I break a sub with U-Turn always. Isn't it actually funny that my Celebi has no special attack? I thought that was really funny. I uh, just goes for Leaf Storm. And again, we're just going to keep up offensive momentum. Uh, Dolphin being gone is great because Cobalion just gets to click close combat. Not like it didn't get to click it before anyway, but it really just gets to click close combat. Um, but yeah, this is a, uh, I like this team, especially versus this type of build that my opponent is using. Um, I understand the Dawn fan play really like I could have just Volt switched there. I honestly could have just Volt switched there, but yeah, we'll just go out into our Cobalion now. 
Toxic Heal Bell, Soft Boiled, Seismic Toss. And we shall just SD up. Because Alan Mola will always be the play. Uh, even if he protects, does that actually matter? Don't I just Z close combat into actual close combat and get a kill? I, oh, I'm Corkscrew Crash. Okay, I messed up. Didn't realize I was Corkscrew Crash. I mean, you should fear the Z anyway, yep. Alright, so we get a second SD up now. On that, uh, forgot I was Corkscrew Crash and not all out pummeling. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure plus four close combat knocks out Alamola anyway. I don't have to bother going for Z. It's funny because if I go for Rock Polish, like, I, I win the game right here. Champloo, what you got, bro? Aloma, lo, 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 lo. There you are. Wow. I wonder how much this Z does. I just, I just curious. 52 to 69. Yeah, this, this. Give me, give me your Alan Mola, my friend. All right, so Alan Mola is gone, and now I'm just gonna be able to click close combat whenever I bring in my Cobalion. It's pretty much game at this point. Uh, I don't have to worry about Crocodile. My Gliscor already has its thing activated, even if he predicts that and goes for knockoff. I'm pretty sure it's maybe Scarf Crocodile or Rocks. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, I'm not 100% sure, and we could just start throwing out Toxics, and it should be game at this point. Uh, Rotom's probably gonna go for Trick. I do have a Mega, so I'm actually going to go out to that. It's relatively safe. Uh, it avoids any damage, and um, it avoids a potential trick. that I think this is like a Desperation type trick, or Hidden Power Ice that my opponent actually ends up having. And what I can do is just Mega Evolve, and just throw off a Roost. You ain't doing any damage. That's Specs, actually, <laughs> because like that's doing a lot to a Latias that has max HP. That's doing a lot to Latias that has max HP. He can't even pursue trap me with Crocodile. Like, as long as I Roost and Rotom is gone, I don't even think Thunderbolt knocks it out at 13%. Like, I don't think any of my moves knock him out at 13%. But as long as I Roost and Rotom is gone, it's game. And, uh, Sceptile is always checked by Nidoking and Celebi and whatnot. I guess he could go uh, Sceptile now if he wants to. I'm pretty sure Nidoking outspeeds that. Yeah, I'm timid. I definitely outspeed that. Crook comes out. It doesn't matter what movie he locks himself into. He might try and pursue here instead of knock. Uh, and knock doesn't knock me out, obviously. So, confirm Scarf. And it's just a free switch into Cobalion here on his next knock. If he goes for it, I rock polish up and I win. So, he actually has to double here into Sceptile itself. Because that only did 53, I'm actually going to click Ice Beam expecting the double out into Sceptile. He literally has to double because if I go Cobalion and rock polish, I win the game. Or he could disconnect. Um, but Pim, it's funny because Pim was, I know I'm saying it's funny a lot, but Pim was actually saying, I hope you get, uh, a stall matchup or a fatter matchup. That way you get to show off how the team actually works. And now I can just go directly into Cobalion, take the knockoff, get the boost, go for rock polish, win the game. Basically Ice Beam was a draw free play, uh, because I, he couldn't knock me out. Actually I should have stayed in, but he couldn't knock me out there anyway. Yeah, he could have knocked me out there anyway, and um, it was... I didn't realize I 6 0 this guy. Uh, shout out, Pim. It's definitely not mine, bro. He made it. <laughs> I make some gems, bro, but I make like three gems a year. But I, I do make a couple teams on the low, guy. I'd be ladder with them. I got some ults on the uh, on, on Smoke on, but... But yeah, um, the better play, I, I, I think I was kind of failing myself that turn, but the better play was actually to stay in and sack Lottie. Because if you double into Blissey, whatever, I get in Gliscor and win. But I guess the faster win was um, me switching out to Gobali on there because it also covered any double. Like he, I was firing off Ice Beams to, I guess, condition him to stay in. If I'm on YouTube. Good game, man. Wait, so you're not going to say good game if you're not on YouTube? <laughs> I don't have to show which Z I am. Uh, I don't have to show which DA I am at all. He obviously sees I am Z, but I don't have to show that I'm Core Screw Crash or uh, or All Out Pummeling. Um, though you probably tell that I'm Red Celestials, Force 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 and PV Stall Games, not themselves. Uh, I might as well tell him since he's PMing me on the side. First game I got was versus Alobus. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got another game. Ooh, Core Screw Crash Cabalion is really cool in this because it deals with Uniclus. I like that. Rotom here. 
Infernip as a leader is annoying. My own Rotom actually annoys my opponent as well. So, great. This is the lead I was fearing, which is why I didn't want to lead with Celebi. And this just gives me a free Volt Switch into my Gliscor to once again activate my Toxic Orb uh, before he ends up doing something like knocking me off or something with maybe Muck. I definitely want to get this activated. So, Fire Blast, or you could go directly into Rotom. I want a Toxic here. Okay. I mean, that's fine if you go for Taunt. Like, I, I still get my Poison Heal back. Um, Endeavor's not going to do too much. Like, going to leave me at the same percentage as you. I'm assuming you're just going to go Rotom here, but... Surprised you taunted, considering... Like, maybe you expected Stealth Rock, but... Even then, you had a 100% switch into Rotom. But then again, you might have just predicted me to go for the... Um, to go for the Toxic there. So, when I look at my opponent's team, Kalmai and Latios puts in a lot of work. It beats Infernape, it beats Mega Sceptile, beats Mandibuzz, can beat Rotom. Um, but obviously he has Muck and he has potentially Kalmai and Runiclus. Now, I am worried about him Volt Switching. Uh, and I don't mind if my Rotom gets burnt. I don't want Latios getting Pursuit Trapped. Like, I wasn't willing to stay in there since the only move I could go for would be Earthquake anyway. Which wouldn't be bad, but Sceptile is going to come out. I can just go Celebi right now, take the hit, get up my rocks, because if he wants to defog, he'll defog his rocks for me too. I don't care what move you go for. You can go for Dragon Pulse. SD. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is actually scary, but I only need Celebi for this Pokemon. And I guess pivoting in on Rotom. So I even eat that hit up. I guess that's how it happened. You gotta be faster, right? 427, yeah. 295 times 1.5 should be faster. I'm not. I'm just gonna pray you're faster. You should be faster. Yes. Okay. Uh, Sludge Wave is relatively good here. And he gives me Subtile. Great. So, I guess he maybe wasn't expecting me to be Scarf, but... I, what? You were just giving up after that? This could definitely have been a longer game. I mean, okay, I feel like Cobalion would have just won at that point because it's faster than everything. And the second that Muck comes in... Like, what I could have done was condition him to go Muck by going Lottie and start setting up, since that was his only mind to deal with it. And then getting Cobalion, SD up, and then win, but... It could have been a longer game. I knew my game plan, but it could have been a longer game, sir. Oh god, not Pidgeot. Not Pidgeot Raikou. So this game, Lottie is probably going to end up winning it, but I got to get rid of Scizor. If it's defensive Scizor, it's a little bit more annoying. Um, if it's uh, offensive, it's... Oh my god, a mod. No, sir. <laughs> uh, we have one great lead versus him. That's Rotom. Oh, he leads Scizor. Great. So that is an easy Volt Switch. Uh, either, man. I mean, we all have a voice. I'm just a bag in the wind. Why would you give me a burn on your Scizor? Are you going to knock me off? Please don't knock on my Gliscor. Only reason I didn't burn him because I didn't want him going directly into... Like, he had Celebi as a 100% Switch, but I didn't want him going directly into um, Lottie or something. Go as Pidgeot. <laughs> this, yo, this mom broken man ban this mom from you you too my rotom can only take so many hits uh but any damage on scissors is great again why can't you send mod chat to plus you can too friend slash i o o slash mod join sync try it mod let's type one in Yeah, so no one joins. No problem. I like that face. Alright, so I'm actually paint splitting up immediately as opposed to Volt Switching because I'm going to have to switch in a lot to this uh, to this Pidgeot. And I doubt you go Scizor here. Um, I'm thinking Latias, Celebi are all, um, are all like your best switchings. He does go Celebi. Uh, I could definitely see it being U-turn, but... If it is Rocks or Shattered Psyche, which I can also see it being, please don't you turn on my Celebi coming in. I just want my Rocks up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you kindly, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't mind about taking that. And we get a nice slow U turn out. And that's the damage we need on Celebi for Ice Beam as well. So I'm going to get a nice slow U turn as he actually ends up switching out into Infernape. And um, so this isn't bad. Hmm. 
I think Lottie is definitely my play right here. You could be Scarf, but I'm thinking you f you should fear. Okay, if you're Scarf, you you turn out right, but you should fear a Scarf Psy Shock. But I'm gonna make evolve in Roost just in case he is Scarf and decides to stay in here. Yeah, just in case. Um, all right, so confirm Scarf and Fernet. Scizor is gonna come out. Uh, Pursuit should not kill me. Though I'm pretty sure that's banded. And I'm probably just gonna go for U-turn, all right. Mega Lyas is so strong for you. I'm, I'm asking for his opinion. You voting the ban? Now this scissor is annoying, but after that is banded damage, right? I'm pretty sure I'm going to that's banded damage. That should be. I have the team here imported already, don't I? Nice. It's been a while since I had a Gliscor switch into a, a Scizor. Yep, that's banded damage. Okay, so that should uh, put it... The next Stealth Rock switch in should... Um, oh, I didn't get enough coil. Ah. What What do you vote for? <laughs> uh, if I get the Rex, I'm voting... Probably ban. Okay, ban. I don't know. I'm not really one to actually care if a Pokemon gets banned or not. I'm not going to lie. So, Spadef Celebi does take the hit. Like, I just like playing. I really just like playing and seeing the metagame uh, and what, you know, the changes and whatnot that end up happening. So, that did a lot, but I do take the next hit. But we are going to get Pidgeot in, which is unfortunate. I'm thinking about Thunder Waving here, honestly. Max Defense with Calm Mind equals Sweepage. Yeah, with Thor Power again. I agree, DS. I like this guy. He's like... I, I typically don't like to con or, or to talk with my opponent while I am playing. I don't usually like to, but I really like this guy. Also, he gets wrecked by the second I rock polish with Cobalion. So a U-turn should definitely come out here. I don't want my Gliscor to get too weakened. But at the same time, like it's just my best switching for for that. Like once I get a combine up, which will be the next turn. Next time Scissor comes in. Like, I think two Stealth Rock switches should ensure that Scizor dies to plus one Thunderbolt. Because I'm not... If I had Special Attack, I would... I'm pretty sure Scizor died right there. Raikou can come out. Sub Combine. We have Nidoking for that. Lottie can beat it too because of it's just fat Spadef stat. Uh, yeah, Lottie, Lottie can beat it. 1v1... Like, it only has HP Ice as his best thing, but I only have Ice Beam as my best attack, so it'll be annoying. But again, uh, Sc Scizor. Infernape coming in and taking the um, taking all those Stealth Rock switch ins, and probably Pidgeot coming in soon, too. The Settle B, I'm pretty sure, is Shattered Psyche. Uh, Lottie, I don't think it's Specs. I think it's also Scarf or Soul Do? It could just be Mega, but he hasn't Mega. He's Mega Pidgeot, obviously. So, like, I mean, it still could be Mega. It could still be Mega. Like, this is what I'm thinking, like, I know how I win, I'm just trying to set it up so I can win. Because all his, while all my mons are being chipped away, all of his mons are being chipped away more and might actually have reliable recovery. Like, he has Roost, Recover, potentially Roost, Roost, but that's Bandit Scissor, so I doubt he has Roost. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, if you guys missed it, um, I actually did a video earlier today that I think you should check out on uh, Defog, which has been confirmed in Ultra Sun and Moon to be a move tutor. The leaks are everywhere. I ain't gonna do no story leaks. Hell no. Uh, though I have indeed been uh, spoiled myself. I can't help myself, man. I don't care. I actually don't care at all about being spoiled. I'm not gonna lie. It gets me more hype. Even if I know what's gonna happen, it's like, oh yeah, this is gonna happen. Yeah, let's go. Let's, did he U-turn out of here? But that, that's just the way I am as a person. And I've always been. So, but anything competitive, I'm gonna do the same that I did with Sun and Moon. I'm gonna talk about it because it is, it is. We'll see. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Me? My road top 10 and started playing on the side. But yeah. Alright, so Celebi comes out. Onion head. All good. Don't worry about it, buddy pal. You Can you stop the timer for one minute? <laughs> you know what? I got you, bro. You're a nice guy. I got you. Turning it back on at 201, friend. I'm just letting him know. So, yeah. So, um, I'm pretty much 
I, I might as well talk. I'm pretty much gonna be doing the same thing that I plan on, like that I did with Sun and Moon. I do plan on doing a lot of stuff on the uh, on the um, the competitive side of it. I plan on doing some more move videos for you know the new Ultra Beast that have been confirmed and whatnot. Uh, the adhesive, the giant house, the the mind blown one, uh, as well as. You know, showcases and whatnot, and then moveset guys, and I want to take it up to the next level. Like I plan on doing a lot of editing uh, with that sort of thing, not similar to the Blender video, obviously, which I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm really, really, really glad you guys enjoy it. But um, I plan on doing something similar to that. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the timer. It's just me who didn't pick a move, wasn't it? We're gonna start looking for. We're gonna play two games on on the side. Like we're gonna play two games at once because. Like, that guy might time out. This guy's a Hitmonchan. Alright, Rotom beats all of his team. As is these Aerodactyl. So yeah, I'm gonna Volt Switch immediately. I don't want you taunting me. I don't want him taunting me. <laughs> Come on, I could've went directly into Gliscord. No! Uh, we'll go Gliscord now just to get my Toxic Orb. Is it Taunt Toxic, Arrow? No problem, man. And we'll just be able to get off a nice and slow U-turn here all the time. I'm I'm finally going to be able to get some momentum back, by the way. Like, really, 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 really soon. Especially if he goes Scissor now. Oh, goes Raikou. Okay, so great. So I got a little bit of chip on Raikou as well. Okay, nice, clean chip. Let me go ahead and hit him up with the Needle King right now. Uh, that's just Toxic. Uh, he does have Taunt. As he should. So Taunt Toxic... Rocks, I want to say. I will go out into Aerodactyl. I don't like to reveal that on Scarf immediately, but you can't do anything to me anyway. And I can just Sludge Wave right here and get rid of you. Nice. So, Sludge Wave pretty much hit everything. I have Rotom for Mammal Swim, but the fact that I'm toxic is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm going to Earth Power here and just, I'm not going to predict. I'm a little bit scared to predict here. Because if he, basically, if I invite in Lottie, I can Rock Polish up and win. So I'm willing to let Lottie come in just to go for Psychic versus me. Hitmonchan comes out. This mod is actually a threat, especially with Ice Punch. I like, I, I'll take Celebi as an answer. All right, so he gives me Raikou. Great. One Pokemon that was passing on my team. No, 50 more to go. Lottie is going to come out. And at this point, we'll just sack my ground type. I would have been able to deal with that. So me just gonna ice punch here. Yep. Didn't do as much as it could have. Just recover up. Might have to catch his yellow color right here, bro. You might have to catch his yellow color, him on Chan. I don't know, bro. I'll get up rocks. Cause I'll force him rapid spin after if he wants to. Or he'll get the roll there. That that also works. And at this point, um, we're gonna go Kabalion and we're gonna ensure that I keep my rocks by going for the Z move right now. I don't really need it for anything else on his team. I might as well get that KO. I don't think close combat would have KO'd, but I'm pretty sure a Z move. What? <sighs> what happened? Expecting a mock punch on my switch, but like, what the hell happened there? All right, Celebi. Let's recover up. I, I was gonna set up with my um. I was gonna set up with Cobalion, but I wasn't actually. I'm actually not 100 sure if that's specs or not. Uh, and I do want at least one more hit, I guess, off on his Pokemon. Oh, that Draco would have been nice if he hit it for me. Because now I could have set up for sure. All right, so there's a Mach Punch. I can't believe that did 91%. Cobali on what? Why do you have 279 hits? Yo. This Max Spadef Hitmonchan is giving me the work. I might have lost. It's gonna make it evolve an ice beam. Please do eight percent. I really hope you do eight percent. I'm in roosted. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go Lottie to hopefully force a Draco or the Scizor switch, and you turn out. If he Dracos, then I go back out into my Celebi. Well, I am going Celebi right now. Please KO. <laughs> Please do the eight percent. Yeah, that crit might have mattered, man. I don't know. These Hitmonchan's be living out here. 
All right, the swine is in the swine is now. I need Lottie to Thunderbolt this and Thunderbolt this. Cobalion is probably the uh, expendable number. I'm pretty sure he died to life or by actually at 13 for 16%. I don't know. He goes for knockoff here. Hold up. It's leftovers too. I actually don't think Ice Shark KOs me. All right, it did five, unfortunately. We're going to Hydro Pump. Uh, ideally, he gives me Mammal Swine. Let's see if he Draco'd right here. Sorry to go back and forth, by the way. I was just... I wanted to be nice. At this point, I actually will Thunder Wave. Oh, as he goes Inferno, great. Great, 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 great. Land. Hey, I appreciate you. All right, so that's really good for me. Um, getting the Thunder Wave off on Infernip. I don't know if I'm faster uh, because of the, the new speed mechanics and the fact that he's Scarf and whatnot. We'll make the Needle King play because I think you always U-turn here anyway. Four times effective. He could Flare Blitz, but pretty sure you always U-turn there. And Lottie should be in range of Ice Beam. It's offensive. Men's went Raikou. We'll go Needle King on that. Even if it's subcom mine, that's fine. That don't matter. Earth power definitely knocks you out. If it's Magnet Rise, so many things can happen. So Celebi comes out. I already know it's confirmed, not Scarf. So I'm just going to throw off a Sludge Wave here. Get rid of that Celebi. Nice. One less Pokemon to use my Corkscrew Crash versus uh, Scissor comes out as it should. It's probably just going to U-turn out of there. I'm a, I'm a Sludge Wave because I take a U-turn. If he bullet punches, I get Cobalion in. And basically, whatever comes in, I get to force out again. Um, and Scissor, the next turn of Stealth Rock is the 100% one for Calm My Lottie. I think this game I might have lost, though, because Hitmonchan is just, like, ridiculous. Let's see if he switches to Pidgeot here. I had to make a play, so. Oh, he just decides to uh, HP Grass. What the hell? I, that this game is over. <laughs> unless I unless the the uh, the the Nino King the Mammoth Swine doesn't actually have speed investment, this game is over. Yeah, I don't mind him U turning right here. Oh, he pursuits even better. Nice, that's game. I just rock polish up, and this is what I was hoping for. The win with my mod. The win with Cobalion. It's already Scarf. So, like, this is what I've been playing for the entire time. Though it obviously didn't go the way, or the ways I wanted. Uh, we're definitely Z-moving Pidgeot. If he switches out, then I'd knock him out with close combat. If he stays in, ideally this KOs, because I don't know, man. Cobalion can't KO a Hitmonchan. But... Yeah, good game, man. Did nothing. Yeah, good game. Now it's a good game. Good game. All right, it's cool. So we won this one, and we're about to take it out in the next one. I don't have a choice but to stay in here. I guess I could have, because I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Rotom. Well, like right here. I think I roost into. I into loss do I just roost and, and, and lose I think I roost and lose I'm pretty sure I just roost and lose here Carl comes out if it's life or just Thunderbolt knock you out always Ladios. Please tell me Thunderbolt oh, always knocks you out. Nice. Thank you. I'm about to say, man, because we were fighting some... These Hitmonchans out here doing a little bit too much damage. Lottie's really fat. I don't know. Maybe if he has knockoff, ice shard, earthquake, no attack. Yes. Yes. Let's go, Lottie. Let's go. <laughs> the name's so appropriate, too. The name is so appropriate.
Do you not have Crash? I knew he had Toxic! Like, I knew that was about to happen. I swear. And that did 34. You can't even freeze this. That's a good game. This game is over. I swear I knew he had Toxic. I lost to the Hitmonchan, dude. Man, Hitmonchan put in some work. We're gonna get one more. Hitmonchan, man, was broken. Hitmonchan broken. And what is this? A bunch of threats I don't like to see. I mean, Rotom is just a good first tile late. He's off with Amoongus. I don't know if that's... Oh, that's Zerark. Okay. So, uh, I have Volt Switch always. It was always the, my best play. And then I can just go directly into my... Uh, I can just go directly into Needle King. And just Sludge Wave. Could be! Alright, so we get rid of Zorark, and I don't have to worry about that at all. And they actually flitched, they fixed it. So, Haxorus comes out. Probably going to set up on me. Sludge Wave should 2 KO you. Yep. Oh, it's uh, Leftovers too, which means it shouldn't be able to knock out Gliscor here. Um, and I'm assuming Earthquake's going to come out now, not Outrage. Yep. So Gliscor should take a hit. I was fearing Dragonium, because Dragonium would definitely knock me out, but I'm pretty sure I'll take 1 plus 1 Outrage. It'll probably do like 96%. Oh, yeah, it's Dragon Claw. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely... Yeah, Outrage might have actually killed me. But we got rid of uh, Haxorus there. And Gliscor actually beats the rest of his team. Uh, just with Taunt Toxic. But I don't want to take a hit from a champ if I'm able to not. So, we'll go Rotom here. On the Ice Punch. Get Frozen? No? Oh, okay. Guts? Nope. Nice Willow. He goes Umbreon to spread the burn. Oh, thank you for actually missing there, sir. And uh, if he foul plays right here or Toxics, I mean, I get in Cobalion right now. I SD up, and I'm pretty sure I just win with this mod. Yeah, there it is. So we're just going to SD up now on the Machamp. And I'm going to use my Z move on you, Machamp. Even if you're a Scarf Machamp, I outspeed you. So you will get Z'd, because I'm not actually sure that plus two close combat KOs you, but I'm pretty sure plus two Z move will. I don't know, man. I got PTSD from that hit, my champ. Uh, so, my champ is gone. <laughs> Stumpy? All right, guys. So, we're going to end it there. Um, let me know your thoughts on Mega Latias. I hope you guys all enjoyed this live and have fun like I did. Uh, check out the Defog Move to the video because that was uploaded before. And um, it'll also be somewhere here. Like, it should be on your screen now. If you're actually watching right now, it should be on your screen. But like I said, hope you guys all enjoyed. Get hyped for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Next week it comes out. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends. I said we'll see you guys next time, but it's actually just me. I'll see you next time. Maybe, maybe we will.